you guys don't know, I did $210 million in sales before I was 35. Helped IPO a software company, was a sixth employee of Telenab. We were the first Google Maps in my 20s. Um, not very many people IPO a company, let alone do it in their 20s, let alone lead sales and marketing. I took that company from zero to 35, zero to $350 million. We went to 15.5 million subscribers, um, 10X. Okay, so w one of the things that, that somebody was telling me today, they're like, James, I, I want a 10X, man. Like, like, that's my goal. I'm coming to your coaching program. I want a 10X, okay? Like, here's the thing, okay? Um, everybody and their mom wants a 10X, but people don't know what that even means, okay? Um, so somebody was telling me, um, I was talking to another cool influencer a couple, couple days ago, a very good friend of mine, and he was saying how he wants to grow a big company. That's his goal right now. And no problem, okay, no problem. Uh, I did it. We, we, you know, we, we grew our company to 480 employees when I left. I did my 20s. Gary Vaynerchuk did it. A lot of people do it and a lot of people love it, but I can tell you this for sure, a lot of people don't like it. A lot of people do not like growing that big company, okay? I wanna debunk this thought that, that you know, everyone talks about 10X, but number one, very few people have ever 10X'd anything. The one of the first things I'm gonna ask is, um, who in, in this room has ever 10X'd something? Anything, I don't care what it is, it doesn't have to be money, anything. And then I'm gonna say, who in here of those people have actually 10X'd revenue? I guarantee you, very few people out of 120 people have ever 10x revenue. Okay, I've done it a couple times. A couple times. AT&T went zero. I took a whole division of AT&T's Innovation Center from zero to $24 million in two years. Guys, most entrepreneurs are working on like 10xing their whole company. That's not the idea of 10x. Do you guys understand that? Like, the idea of 10x is not that you would, like, as that entrepreneurs would grow these massive companies with like hundreds of people. Now, if you wanna do that, like I said, go ahead. I can tell you that really what you're doing is you're, you're, you're building yourself back into a nine to five. And so, but, but if you want that and you wanna experience that, I think a lot of entrepreneurs need to experience what's that, what that's like, you know? Um, like we had, a, we, had a, we had a good exit, like you might have a good exit, okay, if you can do that. Number one, look at my social media page. Like we literally 10X'd all of our social media this year. Crazy, it's on fire, okay? We might have over 10X'd it. You can 10X something in your business and actually decrease the size of your business. Whoa! Like most people, they think, oh man, I'm gonna 10X my company, so therefore I, I need to go from like four people to 40. No, you don't. You can 10X anything in your company, anything, and actually decrease the size of your company if you do it right. You can double, triple, 5X your revenue and actually decrease what you do, decrease your size of employees. De like you may have 20 employees, five employees. You could work with somebody like Jeff Hunter and Jeff will get you three really sick people and those three people can outproduce the four or five people you have now. And if you have three really good people that somebody like Jeff can give you, those three people plus you can outperform all six other people and you could literally like 5X your business and your revenue, 10X your customer care, 10X your social media presence, you could 10X your leads, you could 10X your revenue with less people. See, the concept of 10X, it sounds really cool and really like macho. I seriously think like most people have never 10X anything. So I had to share this, okay? That I just wanna let you know that I, I think people are overworking, overthinking, like my, my really good friend who was saying, and I just, I know him really well. He's gonna build that big company and at about 20, 30, 40 employees, he's gonna go, dude, uncle, I give up. But he needs to experience it. It's awesome. I don't wanna grow a big company, screw that. I just had a huge offer from Samsung, 200, 200 quarter million dollars a year. Screw that. Number one, I make way more than that. Number two, like, I sure the hell don't wanna to go to work at eight o'clock in the morning in traffic. Okay, L let me tell you what we did. Start out with something that you know you have a high probability of 10Xing. You could 10X the way you care for your clients. You could actually give a damn. <laughs> That's not for most of you, but for some of you, you needed to hear that. You could 10X your emails, your email sequences. Why not 10X your email sequences? Okay, see, see, do you see what I'm saying? Like you could 10X your social media, you could 10X your email sequences, 
You could, like one thing we're reducing, we're reducing the amount of funnels we have out. We're reducing the amount of funnels we build. See what I'm saying? Like you could 10X all kinds of things in your business and then reduce the size of other things in your business and have a more efficient business with more free time and more money. You could actually keep revenue. Let's say you made a hundred grand last year. You could keep revenue the same this year and 10X your cash flow. Now I know that doesn't look good when you screenshot the, you know, I was screwing around Andrew Cro Crozy today. When you see when you screenshot the, um, the stripe and put it out and you know try to show people that you made a hundred grand or two hundred grand or whatever, big deal. Like, it doesn't look as cool because that's not showing you the net, the delta, the net. We are entrepreneurs. It is our job to think outside the box. If you seriously think for you to make another twenty grand. You have to up your, your, your top end revenue, 20 grand, you're out of your mind. That's how people with a job think. You can make a hundred grand and if you profited 20, you could make another hundred grand this year and make 40. I'm not kidding. You need to work on what's called the multiplier effect. The multiplier effect is when you can multiply the things that you want to multiply in your business. See, there are people right now, well-meaning, really good entrepreneurs who are trying to 10X their whole company. Workload, people. Another really good question, and I think this is fair, okay? Why should you 10X anything? I'm gonna leave it on this. Why in the world 10X anything? You know, there's gonna be somebody out there who's gonna be like, well, I don't wanna have to, you know, well, why do we always have to be getting bigger? Why do we always have to like want more? If you don't want more, don't 10X anything. But here's why I think you should try to 10X something in your business. Cause some people are making like 2000 bucks. They can 10X the revenue, decrease the amount of employees they have, decrease their workload and still 10X their, their cash flow. They can 10X their cash flow. Here's why I think you should try to 10X something. And I would challenge every single person, technology, in social media enable 10x more than ever before in the history of the whole universe like technology enables you to 10x things right google sheets virtual assistants time tracking stuff ticketing systems click funnels it allows it enables 10x more than ever before. To 10X, like anything in your business, like 10 years ago, was hard as hell. Now, you don't have to be that smart to 10X something. You seriously don't. You don't have to be that hard of a worker. I hate to say that. If you're not a hard worker, you're probably gonna get rolled up anyway. But I think everyone should try to 10X because the technology is there that makes it easier to 10X than ever before.